you. Come on. Let's skip. The moon. There's the moon. Wow. Some more stars. Ooh, I love space rockets. I think they're so cool. Look at that. Ooh. Isn't that so amazing? I love it. You know what? I have a space rocket that actually will fly. Come on. Let's come take a look at my space rocket. It's right over here. Come on. It's going to be so much fun. Come on. Look at this. A rocket. If we add baking soda and vinegar, it will make the rocket fly. Let's try it. Come on. First, we're going to put the fuselage here. And we're going to go ahead and put the wing assembly. So here's a fuselage and here's a wing assembly. We're gonna go ahead and put them, put it like that. Then you get the base with the launch plug and then you put the launch plug right inside of here. Look at that, you kind of squeeze and then boom, there you go. There you go, that's so cool. And then, the launch tube goes right there. Wow, cool. Okay, now we're ready to add the vinegar and the baking soda to make it fly. Oh, this is so exciting. Let's see if it works. This is dry ice. That is dry ice. Look at that. When you add hot water to dry ice, guess what it does? It creates smoke. Just like when a rocket takes off and there's smoke at the very bottom. Yeah, that's what it does. So we're gonna add the vinegar and the uh, baking soda but before that, we're going to add hot water to this dry ice. That way it's going to be a real rocket explosion right up into the air. It's going to be so exciting. Okay, let's see. Let's try it. is a very different type of ice. You can't touch it because it, it can actually burn your skin. So you have to be careful with it. So I'm just going to touch it like this. This is dry ice. Are you ready? Just a little bit for a sneak peek. Look at that, it's smoke. Now we're gonna mix these two, the baking soda with the vinegar, to make this rocket explode.
work. It just kind of fizzled. The rocket's going to go ahead and take off. Okay guys, we're going to try again. The first time it didn't work. Let's try it again. We want the rocket to do what this one's doing, flying up. Let's see if it actually works. Here we go. mix the three primary colors yellow red and blue are the three primary colors we're going to mix these colors to make the three secondary colors purple green and orange are the three secondary colors okay so look if you mix red with blue you get purple let's try it red There's red, and let's get our paintbrush. Okay, this is exciting. Let's see if it's gonna work. Blue. Now, I think more blue would be better. Let's do blue, a good amount of blue with the red. Maybe that was too much blue, let's see. We can always add more red. Let's see guys, we have to make purple. That's the whole point. Yeah, we need some more red. Okay. Let's add some more red. Okay. Now it's kind of a dark purple. I'm going to add some more red so that it's a brighter purple. I think that more red will make it brighter. Let's see. Let's see, guys. Ooh, it's coming along really good. Look at that. Okay. Look, it is purple, but it's a dark purple. Look at that. Do you see that? It's a dark purple. But it certainly is purple. Woohoo! That one worked! Yeah! Woohoo! yellow and blue to make green. Let's see if it works. Here's yellow. Okay, I'm going to put it over here. Yellow and blue. Maybe not too much blue. Let's see. Oh, this one was quick. Look at this, it's green right away. 
Wow! Wow, guys! Look at this, it's green! Yes. Look at that! Green! Yeah! It's green right away! A check mark with a smiley face! It worked! Woohoo! Yeah! Yes! Okay. Our last experiment is going to be mixing red and yellow to make orange. Let's see if it works. Okay. Red. and yellow should make orange. Let's put it right over here. Let's see if it works. Let's mix them up. Ooh, it's coming along pretty well. Let's see. Okay. Yes, it worked. We made orange. Woohoo! Look at that. Orange. Red and yellow. We need green. Out of yellow and blue. Green. Look at that. That is so cool. And out of red and blue. Purple. Yes. Purple. what items we're going to get from the house to see or swim. Come on! It's our bathtub. It's all full of water. And I want to see what items sink and which ones swim. It's so exciting. Let's see. Okay, first, I think, let's try the bird. Let's see if it sinks or if it swims. Ready? Here we go. Whoops. That one definitely, it did not swim. It sank. Okay, how about the whisk? What do you think? Sink or swim? Let's see. Ah, uh, it sank. It didn't swim. It sank all the way to the bottom. Okay, but see, it's kind of standing up. Let's see if it... Huh, it stands up, but it sinks. Okay. Now let's try a different item. Let's see. I think this one might actually swim because it looks kind of light. So let's see if it's going to swim or sink. It swam! It's swimming! It didn't sink! Okay, that one we're going to keep there.
Okay, that one is definitely swimming. Yes. Okay, now let's try. How about the copy little tin here that we have? Also, it's swimming. It didn't sink. Cool. How about a Q-tip? What do you think? You think it's going to sink or swim? Let's see. It's swimming. It's probably the wood that makes it swim. Cool. Now let's try a little bottle of mini Cascade. What do you think? Sink or swim? Oh, wow, it's swimming. It went all the way down and then back up. Now it's swimming. Yes, that one also swims. I think this one is definitely, probably not going to swim. Let's see. Wow, it's swimming. I'm surprised. That one swims. Wow. I thought it was so heavy it was going to go to the bottom. It swam. Yes. Okay, cool. Now, what do you think about this sponge that's still in the plastic? I think this one's probably going to swim. Yeah. It's so light, that's why. Cool, okay. Look at all these items that are still swimming. Okay, let's try the next one. This one. The measuring cup for baking. Let's see if it's going to sink or swim. Wow, it looks like it's going to swim. What about if we fill it up with water? Like this, see how that's here with water? Let's see if now it sinks or swims with water in it. Wow, that one sinks all the way to the bottom if you put water in it. But if you don't, oh no, now it's sinking. Okay, that one sunk. That one sunk all the way to the bottom. So this one does not swim. Okay. Now let's try these clips. This one's green, red, yellow, and blue. Let's see if they sink or swim. One, two, three. Oh, they sink all the way to the bottom. Uh-oh. They did not swim. What do you think about this bowl? I think it's going to definitely sink. Let's try. Oh, straight to the bottom. That one definitely did not swim. It's too heavy. Okay. Now let's see if this board game will sink or swim. How about this piece of carton? Let's see. It's swimming. Even the other way, it swims. Cool, let's leave it in there, it's swimming. How about one of these pieces? It's also swimming, woohoo! Let's try lucky number seven. Let's see if it sinks or swims. Ready? One, two, three. And lucky number seven is not swimming. It went all the way down to the bottom. Oh. Okay, lucky number seven did not swim. That's okay. Let's put it back. Bubbles? Let's make some bubbles.
We'll see you next time. Bye from Kai.